I don't know because um, now we are going to train in the afternoon and and we'll see. I cannot say if 50-50 or I don't know. I cannot say the percentage. We need to assess and see if they can be available or not. And just the other two that were mentioned, uh, Ali and Dyer, obviously not in contention this weekend. Champions League match, where do you think we might be then? I don't know. Now we are focusing tomorrow, and after tomorrow, we are going to assess both, and we'll see if there can be on contention or not. Um, but we need to assess in the next few days. You said after the Chelsea game the other day that the title was impossible now. Now you've had a couple of days to reflect. Do you still see it that way? Yeah, of course. It is was difficult after uh, Burnley defeat, and of course after Chelsea is nearly impossible. Um, very difficult because, of course, uh, it's going to be tough. Um, we need to win all the games, and, and of course, I go two opponent above us. We need to lose a lot of game, and um, in this type of period, it's, it's going to be difficult. Of course, we, we want to be uh, dreamers, and we want to dream. Uh, in football, until uh, you finish, uh, and mathematics is can be possible. Of course, you you can dream, but um, to be honest, uh, is is not uh, a possibility. The percentage is not too big. So the focus, presumably, then is to, to hold on to third place. Um, got Arsenal just four points behind Manchester United and Chelsea, not that much further. Is it not just about? holding on to third, but also about ensuring top four at this stage? <coughs> yes, I think the feeling is, is a little bit weird because should be everyone um, before the start of the season signed to be in the position that we are today. And you are asking me only only four points Arsenal or Manchester United below us or Chelsea below us. And I think we are living in different in different reality because uh, with all the circumstances, Tottenham deserve a big price uh, to be in the position that we are in in that moment of the of the season, and um, of course we are disappointed in the last two results, but uh, we need to keep going and and trust in our in our team, and and of course it's going to be tough Saturday, but we believe that we can deliver a good job. Off the back of two. Yes, I will, I will tell after the, the game. Of course, uh, to motivate the player for this type of game uh, is uh, is an easy job because uh, I, we don't need to motivate them. I think we know very well what it means to play against Arsenal. We know very well uh, that we are going to be motivated uh, and in front we are going to have a team that very motivated too. We played twice uh, this season, one Premier League game uh, on Emirates that we lost another uh, Carabao Cup that we we won and of course it's going to be tough the third game on the on the season against Arsenal they have a very good players uh, they are doing a very good job uh, Unai Emery is a great manager I know very well him and of course it's going to be tough always a derby always was tough after my my experience here nearly five years every time that we play against Arsenal was a was a tough game and you mentioned that I mean, matches against Arsenal before you arrived Tottenham's recent record against Arsenal wasn't particularly good, it's much improved since you've been here. Did you need to change the approach or the mentality going into these North London derbies? Look, that, sometimes you know, um, it's a good point because if you if you question before, you asked me about only four points, no? the gap with Arsenal or, or something like this. And now you change the history of uh, uh, the approach of the games uh, against Arsenal wasn't great before we arrived. And of course, um, to change uh, perception, to change mentality or reality, uh, is a tough, is a tough uh, thing to to provide uh, a team or a club. Uh, and of course, we are doing. Uh, the team is doing a fantastic job in the last uh, four or five years. Um, I can talk from we arrive, and I think we are changing that uh, this percep that perception that was that the team or Tottenham was a little bit 
soft, but uh, I think um, uh, the most important is that we are fighting in every single game. We, we can win or we can lose, we can finish second, third or first or, or four or five or six, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens, but the most important that the team is is fighting, and then is uh, you know it's about if we can cope with the with the uh, with the competition. Uh, sometimes it's about quality, sometimes it's about mentality, it's about it's, it's, it's too much uh, different team, the aggression. But you know because football is not only one area uh, or one thing that you need to care. It's a many many thing that. Uh, um, you, you need to to to, to care uh, and to be sure that uh, can work. Um, and of course, um, I think we are happy. Um, and on the end, we'll see if we can achieve on the end of the season a good good thing for the for the club. Uh, Harry Kane not facing any action from from the FA. Were you worried at all? When you, when you saw the incident with Atletico, that there might be some repercussions. No, I think he was very. Um, very professional in all the action. I think um, I think it's. Um, I wasn't worried because I knew that it's going to happen. What happened on the end? You don't often see Harry reacting. Are you surprised <coughs> to see? Was that born out of frustration? Do you think? And as I said, we don't normally see him get involved in, in that sort of altercation. Yeah, but it's a player that care about the club, care about the team, care about the result, care about everything, and it's normal to to behave like this. I think um, the reaction is fantastic from my point of view because uh, it's a player that care about <laughs> what is happened there, and I think the, the strange is, is uh, should be different if if he not react or he not show that character, you know, showing this character. Uh, show the message that he cared about the result, he cared about the, the, the situation, he cared about the, 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 uh, the club. That is the most important for my, under my point of view, of course. Eh? And, and Harry's come, come back in, a lot of people will, will look at the fact that when Harry wasn't here, he won all four league games, he's come back in and they've lost. Obviously, it's not as a, as a direct result, but some people have added things up and, and thought that perhaps Harry coming back has maybe upset the balance that the team had. had. <laughs> Make me laugh. I think uh, it's, it's unbelievable, but that is the uh, is the era that we are living. I think Harry is one of the best uh, striker or player on the on the on the world. And of course, uh, for different circumstances, we we didn't win. But of course, uh, Harry is one of, one of the best player, uh, not only only here in Tottenham, if not in in England, in Europe, in uh, on the world. And that is not. It's not doubt and it's not a debate. Thank you. Karen? Rocio, um, outside this training ground for the fans around the world, they can't appreciate his incredible self career. There's about 25 Son fans that turn up to this training ground just to get a glimpse of him. Hundreds that are now turning up outside Wembley as he comes home. And he's just won the London Footballer of the Year. Why did you first sign him? And what has surprised you or pleased you most about him? I think I, you know very well that I wanted, or we tried to to sign him when I was, uh, we were in in Southampton, uh, and then he, he, him, uh, he and his uh, family or, or situation, he preferred to move from Hamburgo to to Leverkusen, and then of course we tried here when we arrived to Southampton, um, to sign and and then we we got him, no, we uh, we can sign him, of course. Uh, I think uh, everyone can see uh, him, uh, his performance. Um, it's true that he's doing a fantastic uh, job for Tottenham. Um, you know and we know very well his uh, quality and potential. And of course, um, he's very professional and, and of course he's doing a fantastic job for us. No, I think it was an even game. And when we were better, I think uh, we conceded a goal from nowhere. If you watch the action, um, that is why we are so disappointed because from nowhere arrived uh, Pedro uh, goal. And of course, after you need to go to try to find the to equalize the, the game, and, and we concede 
in the way that we concede. Uh, one uh, shoot on target for Chelsea and score twice happened. We didn't shoot on target, of course. We hit the crossbar or we have some good action. Uh, Harry Kane in the second half nearly to, to score. Very good action, uh, collective action. But, you know, uh, sometime in that tough period happened that, uh, you know, win and the, the opponent arrive and score. And happened in all uh, the teams during 10 months. Uh, that is why we need to, to stay all together, stronger, um, keep our mentality, keep uh, pushing, and of course try to, to bounce back and try to get the, the good feeling that we got before these two, two games. Yeah, for me, it's a, it's a collective defeat. I cannot blame one or another. I think uh, football is about the mistakes. Football, I accept the mistake. What I, I know upset, uh, accept is uh, not have the, the will uh, to improve or be open to improve, um, the capacity to fight, the aggression to match the opponent. You know, uh, that is, is difficult to accept. But on the end, uh, football is about... Of course, the kills, mistakes. If you try, you can make a mistake. And never, uh, I never, I am uh, upset or um, disappointed when when the, the player made a mistake. Because football is about is a game that uh, you can make a mistake if you try. If not, if you don't play football, if you are sitting or like us uh, or we uh, that or I on the touchline, I cannot make a mistake because I am not on, on the pitch. And I know very well football because I play 18 years or 17 years like a professional and it's so tough. Uh, from outside, we can see the thing completely different and I should be do this or that, da, 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 da. I should be behave like this. But when you are there, I know how tough it is to play football and, and play in high level worse. Um, that is why, um, for me, mistake... Um, um, the, 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 the most important is how you um, manage the, the, the mistake on, on high football. When you move on quick, one action, you've made a mistake, but the next action cannot be affected for this mistake, I think it's, it's, uh, it's easy. If the problem is if you are thinking in the mistake um, during the whole game after. But I think today, I think with all the coaching staff, uh, we provide the player a good platform to, to improve and we help them to move on every time that uh, some mistake appear. And I think um, now we care a lot about the, the player, uh, physical, technical and, and psychological too. Yes, after uh, yes, Champions League Tuesday, and of course, um, you know, all can be very, very good or very bad in football. Uh, in a few days, uh, the perception can change quick. One result can put you in, in your best uh, um, emotion or, or can uh, drop you in a, in a very difficult situation. And we know very well the balance is the most important. Of course, we have ahead. Two very important games. First of all, uh, Arsenal tomorrow, and then uh, Champions League and finish uh, uh, against Southampton on Saturday. And of course, it's so important. After the two defeats, it's so important tomorrow. Um, we know very well uh, the most important is, is, is to try to enjoy the game, is to try to, to, to be focused and, and play freedom because I think our position is, is, is fantastic. Of course, disappointed because we cannot be... Um, the contender, or we are today uh, in a position that maybe we didn't want, uh, or we don't want, because before Barley, I think my idea was to to have today six point more and and to 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 show our credential uh, being a contender. Uh, but with the two defeat, uh, still we are in a very good position, uh, fighting for for big things. Uh, until to the end of the season. I think that is the most important, is to move on for the last two defeats. We need to move on. How have your team responded? What have they been saying to you? How positive have they been? 
But the most important is, you know, is the result because on the end uh, we play well and, and, and uh, like uh, maybe or, or we play in the same in similar level because it was even the game against Chelsea. But rather to, to lose, you win. Uh, it's easy to say or was uh, the, the response or the, the answer was very positive, but uh, we lose. Now, uh, tomorrow is the same. The most important is the three point. If we play well, fantastic. If not, it's going to be a tough game, but it's the important is the three point to to recover that feeling and, and be ready again in Champions League because it's going to be very very tough again Dortmund. Okay, then to finish. How close did you come to signing Sanchez for Southampton? Did you talk to him at the time? Yes, we were very close, but on the end he was so young. His family preferred to move to rather to go out to to Germany to the Bundesliga. They prefer to to be to to keep uh, him there and prefer to move to to Bayer Leverkusen rather to move to Southampton. But we were so so close, yes. And um, did you formally accept the FA charge for improper conduct yesterday? I know you said you were going to accept, but you hadn't. I accept. Experience. I accept. Yes, I signed my my letter. Yes. Okay. And everything. Are you prepared for a possible touchline ban against Southampton? That's one of the possible ban. Ban? Why? I don't believe that it's going to happen. I think it's, going, it's not going to be fair, to be honest. What do you think is fair? I think that's, it's still been, it's still under, I don't think it's fair to go into that sort of detail at the moment. I think the whole process is still ongoing. Yes. No way should we go through that at the moment. Do you think it's fair? For what? For what? For what? Well, the FA would say for improper conduct. Improper, yes, but I think it was a conversation, no? Maybe close, but there was a conversation. But I repeat, I don't believe it's fair. But I'm going to accept. If they ban me, I cannot be on the on the dugout, on the dugout, no, mm -hmm. on the bench against Southampton. I'm going to accept. <laughs> Different thing is is, is uh, if it's uh, fair or no. I don't believe it's fair. But I trust in the FA, and I'm going to accept what they're going to say. Thank you very much. Cheers.